Hello everybody, Amy Lee here. Um, if you're new to my channel, then hey and welcome and glad to have you here. If you're not new to my channel, then hey everybody, glad to see you again. And if you're just popping in because you saw the title of the video and you're nosy and like me and you just binge watch purse videos all the time, <laughs> then cool. Good to see you. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, if this is on my side. Okay. So if you're just stopping in to see the purse video, that's totally cool. I pop in now channels and watch like tons of them all the time. Um, but if you're, uh, part of my friends group, um, they call them subscribers, but y'all are my friends. So if you're one of my friends, then you know, um, I was waiting for a, a DH gate purchase. I had bought a, a Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 off DH gate, which it did come. Uh, today is, what's today? Uh, y'all ever do that? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday and it came Monday. So it came yesterday. I'll lose track of things. So, uh, so yeah, so my DH gate purse did come yesterday and I'm going to do that video next. So if you watch this video and then you watch my DH gate unbox video, um, don't be all like that's the same background, same shirt, same whatever, which even if it was different days, I wouldn't be shocked if I was wearing the same shirt because I have like so many, yeah, shirts that I just like to wear. But anyway, to cut this short for those who don't give a crap, <laughs> um, I did get my DH gate speedy, um, and it's still in the package. I did open it to check it to make sure it wasn't damaged or shitty or whatever. So if I needed to send it back, I could send it back. So I did open it and look at it, but then I packaged it back up so I could show you guys. Um, so if you're totally confused right now, car was going by. <laughs> if you're totally confused right now on like, okay, she got her DH gate bag, but yet, hello, there's one sitting right here. Uh, fast explanation is, um, I had ordered my DH gate bag on February 22nd and then, um, there's a consignment shop, uh, that I go to all the time and, uh, I've been stocking this bag. Like this is, uh, authentic. Um, yes, authentic, even from consignment. It was a very big, shiny penny. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was not cheap. Um, and it does have the authentication papers and I do know enough about them to how to check that. You know, it is stamp 25 here, the date coding and stuff. Like I, I know enough about to tell it's authentic. Plus it did come with a certificate of authenticity from a third, you know, third, uh, party company, like didn't have nothing to do with the store or Louis Vuitton or anything like, you know, it was just a verification company. So anyways, so on March 4th, fourth, <laughs> um, I'd seen this bag in the shop and I was like, oh my God, I'd freaking love, love, love to have that bag. Uh, not that I got anything against, um, you know, carrying a, uh, you know, a lookalike versus real. It's just, I'd already been drooling on this bag forever. Like this was the inspiration that pushed me to look up DH gate and like try my luck to see what I would get on one. Cause I thought there's never in a hundred years, am I going to get like an actual real one? So it's just the price point is crazy. Like I, yeah, I was just like, I'm never going to get a real one. So I did order off DH gate on February 22nd and then March 4th, me and my husband were out and about and I was like, you know, do you care if I stop in the store? I've been stalking on this purse. I kind of just want to see if it's still there, you know, <laughs> like I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I literally was just obsessed with it and stalking it. And it, even like when I went into the store, the lady was like, 
hey, back again. You want to see it again? And I was like, no, I'm just like hoping maybe you drop the price or something. And she's like, sorry, like the price isn't going to drop, you know? And I'm like, I get it. I know what they're worth, blah, blah, blah. So I'm wandering through the store because I'm just looking around because I didn't want to be rude and just walk in and walk out. So I'm kind of just browsing through the aisles. And why I am, my husband's like, just get it. <laughs> just screw it, get it. And I was like, oh, okay. So totally did. So yeah, five and a half minutes of that. So my next video will be the DH gate. And then I can use this one to compare with that one and show you guys um, not only what I got from DHK and did I like it? Did I think it was worth it? Da, 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 da. But compare, um, authentic to what you get and then you can decide. And of course the sellers, blah, blah. We'll go into that in the next one. But this one is, uh, what's in my bag and clean out my bag with me. <laughs> Cause I have from the second he got me this bag from the second I got you all propped on a, it's a laundry basket with a shoe box on top. <laughs> so the bag would be up here. Cause I love in the videos when you can see the bags. So, um, anyway, yeah, I've been packing it nonstop since the second that I got it. <laughs> and my husband was walking by the window. <laughs> uh, he had ran out to the store. Um, yeah, i had been packing it nonstop since I got it. And it has been so crazy busy at my house. So anyway, she's literally packed to the gills. We done went to the casino and everything, had a night out, and I've got so much stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. So here she is. Um, it is vintage. Um, she is a 95. Um, if you go exactly with the dating, it's September of 95. So this September, she'll be 28 years old. Um, and here is the front and the back and the side and the side um, and the bottom. I do have a, like a cardboard, like a base shape in the bottom and there is an organizer in it. And as you can see, the handles and stuff are in great shape. And they're this beautiful honey color. Um, they're not blackened or ruined or anything. I mean, it's a little darker on the underneath. But not black. Just darker brown. And I couldn't be more just thrilled out of my mind with um, what I got. And that is... Um, a lock on there but this lock did not come with it that was the only thing she didn't have she's pristine freaking bag especially for 28 years old for 28 years old I'm in shock at the just how wonderful she is um, actually this is the lock that came with my DH gate bag because <laughs> she is perfect but she didn't come with the lock so when I opened up my DH gate bag to um, check it out, I instantly snatched up the lock and key that came with it. So this, uh, this lock came with the DH gate bag and it is a great lock, great quality. Um, so yeah, so the only thing that didn't come with her, like, this tab's real good shape, like the hole's a little open, but not bad. Um, this, you know, is good. It's soft. There's the 25. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and here's the pull tab attached still perfectly. I mean, the leather's really soft, so I've been consciously using the metal zip and not pulling on the leather. Um, not that it's tearing away, but I don't want it to. So I've been careful with that. So I've been using the zipper itself and avoiding um, the pull tab because I want it to stay intact. Um, so yeah, so she all good, she all real. And the lock is from my DH gate bag, but other than the lock, she's all good. So let me just unzip it. Like I said, I've been using the zipper, like the metal piece of the zipper. 
to open and close because I don't want to pull on the leather and give you a show inside. Oh my God. Yeah, so, so full. So much, so much shit in here, I'm telling you. You can see the organizer. Um, it's just a light beige. I'll show you what it looks like when we get everything out of it. But yeah, you can see pretty well she's stuffed full to the gills. And yeah, so now that I have explained to my the people on my channel why I have this bag and not the DH Gate bag that I've been waiting for, which did come. So yeah. I know some people really hate long intros, and I'm sorry. I always try to make them as short as possible, uh, but sometimes there's just too much to say. All right, so I'm just going to, like, start reaching and grabbing stuff out because, as you can see, there's a lot. So, okay, first thing on top, easy to grab, is my sunglasses. Um, they are prescription. I'm not going to waste time trying them on and stuff. I'll just show you. I just got this little cloth bag that acts as a white too and they're just black on the outside and teal on the inside and like I said they are prescription so I need my glasses and so there you go so all right so sunglasses so we definitely need these in there so I'm gonna in the floor <laughs> I'm gonna have keep and put away so these are definitely a keep so we'll put them right there okay and just the next easiest thing to grab is this pouch that I have in there. Um, it's just a chocolate cover, chocolate colored um, teal polka dot pouch. And I have some Hocus Pocus pens. Um, there's just the sisters and it says Hocus Pocus. And then there's um, Billy and it says don't lose your head. And if you know the movie, that's funny. Um, it's already unzipped because it was open in my bag. And here's a peek in there. That's just the backs of the pins. So let's see if I need to clear anything out here. <laughs> My ear pods are in here. I'm going to try to hold it up. I think these still got charge. So yeah, there's a little charge still on them. Okay, so keep. Uh, let's see. Oil face sheets keep I'll repack all this without you guys having to be tortured with that bandages definite keep most of this is probably a keep panty liner keep pad keep a uh, small mirror um, this is actually a mirror that came out of a uh, glossier uh, eyeshadow palette it just pops out as you can see it has like a little height on it and the mirror says you look good <laughs> so there you guys go that's outside I got you propped in the window there you go keep nice thin mirror lighter keep hair scrunchie keep chapstick keep Laneige lip balm keep Nail clippers, keep. I say this is probably whole things keep a hairband, keep a pen, keep. I would just like throw the pen in the bag. I guess I could now, now that I had to organize her. When I first got the purse, I obviously I didn't have an organizer for it. I had to order it off of uh, Amazon. Um, and so I was putting my pens in the pouch. So uh, obviously I'm keeping the pins, but I probably won't put them back in the pouch now that I have an organizer. I don't have to worry about them leaking like into the purse itself. So those are key, but I'll probably not put them back in here. Some Listerine strips. Uh, one of those little fill it yourself perfumes. There's Juicy Couture perfume in here right now. Um, let's see, we have... Four Halls Drops, Berry Flavored, you never know when you're going to get a tick on your throat. And the last thing in the pouch, see it's all hot pink inside, I love that, is a couple batteries to the lock clicker of our truck. I'll drop them right back in there so they don't get lost. 
Okay, I'm just grabbing. Okay, and the next thing that comes out is like my little utility chain. It's a clip and I have a little pocket knife that has a nail file, scissors, and a knife, and then a flashlight and some pepper spray. So there's that. Um, honestly, I don't know because I have a flashlight on my phone. And the pocket knife, I mean, I guess kind of comes in handy, but not. I'm probably just, I'll probably just put this mace on my keychain and then just put this away. I'll probably just put this away. So there you go. My first thing I'm just going to put away. Okay, next thing I grabbed is my wallet. Um, there is some loose change. That's a picture of me and hubby. Sweetest man alive. And the little uh, change pocket has changed. I'm going to put this on the window. So, so I'm put that away. Because I don't like carry loose change. It's just it's nice to have a change pocket in case I collect change. It's not all over the bag. I can put it in the wallet. But I don't keep change on me. Um, and in this back pocket there's just a punch card for a store. And then, oh, my husband bought new tennis shoes. So this I need to keep but put away. So we'll put it in the keep but put away pile. He bought some new shoes. And then there's my cards laid out. And then in here I have uh, some store coupons and a couple love notes. <laughs> Does anybody else keep love notes in their bag? Okay, so that's my wallet. Um, it's a Kate Spade and it's like... It was sold like during Christmas as a Christmas one, but it's really cute. It's just white, and as you've seen, it's all red inside, and then it just has like little presents on it, but they're not like Christmas wrapped, so they're just presents. I love it. Obviously, keep your wallet. Okay, uh, I'll see. This is something I had in there when we went to the hotel. It's mascara, but I don't carry mascara around with me normally. This was just in here because I went out that night. So keep but put away. So far I don't have any trash piles. That's good. <laughs> Candy bar. Keep but put away. <laughs> uh, let's see. A couple more things. Oh, the cap came off. Brow, pencil, and uh, cover up. So this is the uh, Sky High um, Maybelline Sky High Last Sensation in Cosmic Black. And this is just an e.l.f. brow pencil in the color blonde. I know I have brown hair, but the brown pencils are just so dark on my eyebrows. Like, I use even the lightest brown and my eyebrows just look like sharpie markered and I don't like that. So I use the blonde on mine. Uh, it's a lot lighter and I like that because it fills in my brows but I don't look like I took a sharpie to my face. And then this is the Tula T-U-L-A Tula Skincare. Um, it's tinted it, um, filter primer, blurring and moisturizing primer. Uh, it's Luna for fair to light and it's got probiotics and superfoods for your skin. So basically it's skincare that's tinted. So it's good for your skin and it has a little tint just to kind of like cover up red patches or anything. But anyway, keep it put away. Uh, let's see my medicine box. It has my everyday medications and some Tylenol in there. And then I have a couple packs of Advil, um, a few packs of Pepto, a roll of Tums, a toothpick flosser. So it's like a little mini pharmacy um, that I keep my everyday pills in too. And then we have my keys, which I love, love, love. Um, I have this from Old Smoky Moonshine. Gatlinburg keys. This one that says goddess on it. 
Um, I'm trying to go fast because I always make these so long and I don't mean to. Um, Capricorn, I don't know, key stuff, my dog tags. But, uh, yeah, I was going to put my pepper spray on here, but I'll do that after because I know you guys don't want to sit here for half your life. And there's still stuff in here. Um, hand lotion, champagne toast, obviously keep that. Um, body spray, champagne toast, keeping that. Okay. Um, and then on one of the side pockets, cause there's an organizer in there, there is a gold hair clip, which I do not keep in here. I uh, just had it cause we went out. So that's a keep, but put away. So uh, let's see. So that's all that was like in the big part. And then that clip was stuck to the side of one of the pockets. So then in one of the front pockets, there is a partially open chocolate bar. It's a keep, but put away. We'll put that on the window since it's open. Let's see what's in the other pocket. That was all that was in one of the pockets. And then this other pocket has a hand sanitizer, champagne toast again. I love that scent, but I like when my stuff matches. I know, like, weird, like, who cares, but and then in the bottom of that same pocket that the hand sanitizer was in, oh, I'm trying to dig them all out, is crystals. I have rose quartz, citrine, tiger's eye, and amethyst. So definitely a keep. And that's the two little pockets that were like on the inside of the organizer uh, on the front. And then there's two pockets like on the outside of the organizer. Um, and one just has a pack of extra gum. So keeping that. And the other pocket has a pack of M&M's. <laughs> and I know it's like a lot of candy is coming out here. But those candy bars I had got to take to the hotel. But um, I do keep some kind of candy with me. Um, always. So that's what these M&Ms are for. The bag's getting a little beat up because I've had them in here for a while. Sometimes I get lightheaded, like my sugar just drops or whatever. But I'll definitely keep these in there. I might have to store them a little different though because I think the bag's starting to get tore up. So that, there are four, like, four slip pockets on the front side of the organizer. So that was all of that. Okay, so now... The back side of the organizer, there's two like big square pockets and then one big long slip pocket. And one of the square pockets is empty because that's where I've been putting my phone. And then the other square pocket has um, some icebreakers in there. And then the big long slip pocket, I have a notebook, just a little slender, very thin. Just, there's nothing in it. I just got it actually not too long ago. Uh, just notebook paper. And the front says, practice gratitude. And keep that. And then I have a pack of antibacterial wipes. Yes, they're cartoon characters. Mind your business. But cartoon, <laughs> or antibacterial wipes. So we need those in there. And then, um... The last thing in that big slip pocket are, is this pack of wipes, which are Sweet Spot Slabs Full Body Wipes. You can wipe whatever you need from head to toe, and I love these, and they're in Vanilla Blossom, so I keep those. Okay, so that's everything that's in the organizer and all the pockets of the organizer, and then, um, so that's everything in the organizer and see like the front has two slip pockets here and then two slip pockets on the outside of that wall and then you turn it around and see it has that velcro because it came with a um it came with the center divider that you could stick in there but i didn't want that in there i like the middle to just be open and then there's the two like more square pockets and then there's like a big slip pocket here. And then, of course, it has the um, its own little pouch pocket. <laughs> I don't know why I was holding that side so bad. And the only thing I have in this 
little side pocket, which see, even that's in great shape. I was so shocked at the, the beautiful shape that this bag's in. I mean, it's 28 years old and it's so beautiful. But anyways, the only thing I put into that little slide pocket was the keys to the lock. Um, so yeah. So it's just the keys to the lock and like I said this lock and key came with the DH gate bag but this bag didn't come with the original lock and key Ta -da! so I put it on here but as you can see it's gorgeous and it works perfectly and couldn't be happier and I'll just sit that there and put it back on in a minute so there you have it ladies and gentlemen uh, everything and all the pockets and here is the organizer and I would pull it out but oh it's such a pain to pull out you get it, it one organizer is like every other organizer it has pockets and it's felt and yeah but it fills the bag really nicely I love it go to Amazon they got 20 billion of them from everywhere so wow that's a lot lighter the bag itself is like feather light <laughs> it's all the crap I had in it which I ended up not really taking a whole lot out of here so I might have to rethink what goes back in but <laughs> I will do that on my own time so there you have it this is my vintage uh, September 1995 um, Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 and yeah, my husband bought her for me, and she is in pristine condition, especially for a lady her age, and I definitely recommend a base shaper and an organizer, um, even for a brand new bag, because it's going to help, it's going to help keep the bottom, you know, secure and not have that droop. I know a lot of ladies like the big saggy sack look and go you you do you don't mind me I don't care but personally I like when she has her shape so I did put a hard um, piece in the bottom to keep the base sturdy and as you've seen there is an organizer um, to help keep the sides good so yeah that's that's that and Thank you for watching and I'm thrilled out of my mind that I, you know, I fell in love with this bag when I was 22 years old and I'm 44. So for 22 years, I've been obsessed with getting one of these and I finally did. So, okay. So thank you for watching this. And if you're one of my subscribers or if you just popped in and you do want to see, um, a DH gate uh, in comparison to this one and the one, that one. Um, that will be my next video. So thanks for stopping in. Bye.